Clark County officials nabbed the man they believe murdered a prominent Silicon Valley real estate developer. Jin Lu Tommy Shui was reported missing nearly two weeks ago. Authorities believe that Christopher Ellibrock, his handyman, killed him. Shui was last seen at 24 Hour Fitness in Sunnyvale, but his body was found buried in a shallow grave hundreds of miles away in Three Rivers, a small town near Visalia. KPI X5 reporter Kid Doe is live at the Santa Clara County Jail with details on the murder investigation. Kit? Yes, we're learning more about the relationship between those two. It turns out that Christopher Ellibrock worked as a handyman for about two years, repairing a lot of the properties that the victim owned. Now, given the mountain of evidence and the strength of the case against him, the DA's office says they are confident. Christopher Ellibrock never stepped in full view of the camera and instead casually leaned against the wall and twitched his lip the entire time. Sheriff's deputies finally got him after five days on the run and detailed the string of clumsy, sloppy clues left behind. It all began at this 24 hour fitness in Sunnyvale on January 17th. Jin Lu Shui, also known as Tommy, never came home that night and missed a meeting the next morning. The family became suspicious when they say his cell phone pinged a tower that night near a cemetery five miles away. At sunrise the next morning, investigators say a surveillance camera captured Ella Brock on video depositing a $10,000 check in Morgan Hill, a check that had Shui's forged signature. And then later that same morning, yet another surveillance camera, this time at Home Depot, captured Ella Brock buying a shovel. But that's not all. Two days later, in the rural town of Three Rivers, the CHP found Ella Brock's van stuck in the mud. Inside were bloody clothes, and Shui's cell phone was in a puddle nearby. But the big question, where was Ellibrocht? They got their answer two days later on January 22nd. The suspect was arrested by the Visalia Police Department for an unrelated charge after he brandished a knife at someone near a fast food restaurant. The next day, Ellibrocht's relative told investigators he had gone up and, quote, buried a problem in the mountains. Searchers looked through the wooded area near the van, and that's when they discovered Shui buried in a shallow grave. The coroner says Shui was strangled. As the details of my father's disappearance became available, we were shocked and saddened that my father's life story has come to such a tragic end. As a Cupertino school board member, Shui was one of the first Asians elected to a government position in the Bay Area. He was a well-known real estate developer and a philanthropist. It is incomprehensible to us how something like this could happen to a soul as kind and giving as my father's. And the suspect's next court appearance is February 23rd, where he is expected to plead not guilty. We're live in downtown San Jose. Kit Dill, KPIX 5.